Welcome back to DMOP Garage. We're working on the 52 Krankenwagen and I'm still deaf in one ear. <laughs> Stupid infection. Come and have a look at this thing. Uh, in the last episode we were mucking around on the rear end and we're still mucking around on the rear end. That job got done. That's all finished. Now we're moving on to this piece here. As you can see here, I took off this little piece of aluminium that was just over the top here probably a little protection area but you can see that underneath is uh, just raw I don't even know what you call this material it's probably not made anymore who knows but yeah they've obviously painted it gray which is interesting anyway what we're going to do here is take off this layer and then we're going to obviously replace it with our fresh stuff that we've got down there and then we can put all the hardware back on it whether or not I reuse this or not uh, I don't see why not we can just polish it up maybe even flip it over but it does have some strategic holes in it so we're gonna have to reuse those spots and make sure you know, there's a hole here for something I don't know we'll find out later let's get the the, the top of this ripped off Here's our new piece. All the black dots you see are where all the screws and the chrome paraphernalia for the stretches goes on and all the rest of it. So we will get this glued down. Yeah, then we can probably get it installed actually. And then the rest of the hardware can just go back on top once we get it back from the chroma. Okay guys, next day again, we've got a beautiful day today in sunny Victoria. Uh, I am not going to put that in just yet because I figured I have to do some painting. Uh, I didn't realise that some of the framing is actually exposed. So we need to go in there and spray all that with the cream. So I've just been off camera, prep sole, wax and grease remover, all that section in there. Getting it ready just to put some cream colour uh, all around these frames. They all had to be cleaned up. But also because the, because the plywood actually sits here that section there is exposed all the way around and it, of course it looks pretty shoddy so i've gone and sanded all this i've also sanded down all underneath here there's a little bit of putty work on that back plate and i've also taken off the little vent that was on there and i gave that a polish up have a look at this this came up pretty cool look at that it was quite tarnished and again just ran it over the buffer so that's going to get ready to put back on once this is all painted but we're going to spray the floor just in the cream and then obviously just hit all this with the cream too because you know all this i've got to, i'm going to have to fix all these holes and stuff because you will see that as soon as you open the doors here you you'll be able to see in and see that so that that needs to be pretty good most of the time these will be in the down position anyway interesting that this one hasn't got those little feet here that these lock into these ones are just kind of free balling out there like that so a bit of a, an oddity and i have seen a lot of other ambulances have a cabinet in the back there and the the cargo doors are on that side which is and it's still left hand dry so it's a very odd configuration i don't know if those ones are right and this is normal <laughs> I suppose who knows what normal is around here right so yeah we're going to get this all sprayed up in the cream once that's done then i can stick that plywood in and then we can do this bottom section as well so let's continue i've been eating my favorite look at these things i tell you mark my words these are the best chocolate eclairs ever <laughs> There they are. That's the that's the deal. Not too many, otherwise we get fat. All right, so let's uh, do a little bit more cleaning here, and then we'll get it ready for paint. Righto, guys. So she's painting time. You can see I've just put a little bit of primer on those bare metal areas, and covered up the windows. Yeah, let's get painting.
we're all done in here. Gave it a lick of paint. You know, it's really only just to seal up the floor and all the framework. And then now we can start fitting out the rest of it. But at least that part is ticked off and we can continue on with the build. Okay, so one of the next things we're gonna do is that quarter panel needs to be resprayed and also the Valance, because it's actually the wrong color probably in this light. Uh, you can see that's a lot lighter than that color there. So we're gonna respray that quarter and the Valance. Bit of scotch bright. So we've put a sock over the entire bus. We've chopped out that section there. The Valance has to be resprayed and also the front dog legs as well. So I've gone and masked these sections up because you've got two different colors here and she's a bit NQR. So we're just gonna respray the whole, whole dog leg. That side's done. This side here's done as well. Just sanded that back. And I've also done that little repair. We had a little bit of rust just on that gutter part. So I've just gone and filled that and rust treated it and we'll give that a respray as well. So we'll probably have to wait a day or two for that to dry properly and then give it a prime and then we can roll it outside and I'll spray it all out there. So one other thing we'll just do now, remember in a previous episode, this section here, and you can't see it in the light now, but it's got bobbles and lumps and bumps. So this area needs some work. So we're gonna put a bit of a guide coat on that just to see what the hell's going on. I think there's a high spot there and yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, let's uh, get a guide coat on it. We'll give it a bit of a sand. All right, let's see what's going on in this area. Let's see what's going on here. So you can see the the four spots that are high. They're high, that's starting to come through. And that's about right. I think that's done it. That's good to go. All right, we'll get some primer on that and then we can, uh, yeah, call it good. All right, a little bit of spray putty. Just let that flash off. A few moments later. All right, we'll let that do its thing and give it a 600 and then we're ready for paint. Righto, painted, done. <laughs> Probably picked the worst day to paint, so bloody windy, but I, you know, I had it all set up and anyway, that's got a coat of gloss on it, clear. That's got a coat of gloss clear on it. Two coats of the actual color. You can see this corner here, that came up really nice. No issues, no bugs in it. 
and we've got to get it out of this wind as soon as possible same with that quarter there looking good and the front all right and i actually blended that little section there too got a couple of drips but no big deal there's a, enough coats of clear on that just to rub those little drippies out um yeah cool all right so you can see we've taken all the tape off and it's looking good that is a lot better that's actually color matched really nice i put with those two coats of clear you can see i probably don't even need to buff this it's straight off the gun that is good enough it just matches the other one nicely same at the front that's all done here even that little blended area that's come up nice no issues there same with this side here with the dog leg oh, come up nice oh that's that part ticked off we can continue with the build okay we're going to start putting some vinyl on and just putting the contact adhesive just using the brush what we want to do is just contact the adhesive half of this might as well start doing the other side while we're here why not Now the trick with contact adhesive, you got to let it get tacky. No point putting this straight on now when they're wet on wet because it's not going to stick. So you need to leave it, you know, a good 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And if you put your hand on it and nothing comes off onto your transfers onto your fingers or your knuckles, then you can see that it's transferred already. So it's too wet. Don't put it on yet. So just wait for it. Go like that. If nothing comes off, you're good to go. And then we're going to try and just roll it to here and once we get it to there then we can do the rest of it and we'll just leave it up otherwise you might not get a, a second shot at it if you get the alignment wrong in this situation so and if you get any contact adhesive on the paintwork you just use wait for it to dry and you can use rubber or your fingers and like that it just comes off okay we're going to start with the and it has no glue on it. And then you can just flap up this part and glue down the rest. Right, I'll bring you back in when this is dry and we can pop it back down. All right, we'll leave that for a couple of minutes and then pop it down. One of the next things we're going to do is the front bumper bar. Now, it's pretty beat up it's got scratches all over it and it actually has a bit of surface rust just along here and also on the inside of it it's pretty rough too you can see it hasn't been kept in very good condition at all so we're going to sand this sucker back uh, give it a coat of primer and respray it and i think i'm going to delete the red too i'm not a big fan of it whoever painted that just decided to kind of add a bit of a, a highlight to it but i think it just denotes off the off the rest of it so I don't know what you guys reckon, but just a plain cream bumper will look a lot nicer. I mean, I, I kind of looked at the old photos and and then came a, a, around to the front here and, and sort of just looked at it like that. And I think having no red down the bottom, I think it's just going to make the that nose look a little bit nicer with the V and all the rest of it. So that's the plan anyway. So yeah, let's just sand this sucker back with some 320 and then we're going to 
hit it with some primer and uh, and fix up these little rust spots as well and go from there okay guys so we're going to get this bumper sprayed you can see i've put a coat of primer on it giving that a rub back and uh yeah let's get some cream on it All right, couple of coats, gave it a second one, and she's nice and shiny, no bugs in it, which is good. Excellent. All right, that will do it. I'll let that dry and then we can go and mount it on. All right, guys, well, it's looking like it's a pretty cracking day out here. I'm going for a surf. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for all the new subscribers. We're getting there, we're getting there. And then when this is out here, we're going back onto the Beetle. We're going back up to Oven Boy's place, getting on the Beatles there now that the weather's warming up and we're not going to be playing in the mud and all that jazz up there. So, yeah, some more content coming. All right, see you guys. Yoo!